Hello everyone. In this presentation of stereochemistry, we will discuss the difference between stereoselective and stereospecific reactions. So that we will understand by the example of rumination of two butene. Here you can see that two butene when reacts with bromine, so it is a addition reaction. Both bromine atoms will get attached at both doubly bonded carbons and double bond turns into single bond. And as a result, we are getting 2,3-dibromobutane. Here you can see that the both carbons which are labeled there, which are marked, they are asymmetric carbons as all four different groups are attached. So, following four isomers are possible for 2,3-dibromobutane. Let me remind you why is it so? Because we know that any compound with small n number of chiral centers will have total 2 raised to n number of stereoisomers possible. So here as there are two stereoisomers, I'm sorry, there are two chiral carbons, that's why n equal to 2. So these four isomers are possible, in which you can see that 1 and 2, as they are mirror images of each other, non-superimposable over each other, that's why they are enantiomers. 3 and 4 are also enantiomers of each other. They are also known as a meso compound. Reason is that you can see that both the carbons are symmetric here. The groups attached with both the carbons are same and they have mirror image like structure. So at this juncture where my cursor is moving, if we consider a plane of symmetry, then the this portion and the bottom half, upper half and bottom half, they becoming the mirror images of each other. So we know that such compounds are called meso compounds and they are optically inactive. So these are the four possible isomers of 2,3-dibromobutane. Now, Here you can see that the reaction which we have written earlier, this one, is a very general reaction, 2-butene. But we know that 2-butene also exists in two different geometric isomers, cis-2-butene and trans-2-butene. Now whenever we carry out brumination of cis-2-butene, out of possible four isomers of 2,3-dibromobutane, it always produced only enantiomers 1 and 2 isomers which I have shown you in this slide. Out of these four, it is always produced these two, never the meso. And whenever we carry out rumination of trans butene, then out of possible four isomers of 2,3-dibromobutane, it always produced only meso compounds, never the enantiomers 1 and 2. So keep this thing in your mind because on the basis of that we will understand stereo-specific reaction and stereo-selective reaction. So first let us read the definition of stereo-selective reaction. The reaction which predominantly gives one isomer out of several possible isomers as product is called stereoselective reaction. Again, the reaction which preferentially or predominantly gives one isomer out of several possible isomers as a product that is called stereoselective reaction. So, we have just seen that whether it is a reaction bromination of cis-2-butene or trans-2-butene. Although, 
four isomers of 2,3-dibromobutane can exist, but cis-2-butene always gives enantiomers 1 and 2. Trans-2-butene always gives meso compound as a product. So now again, you re if you reread the definition, it will make sense. The reaction which predominantly gives only fixed isomer out of several possible isomers that is stereoselective reaction. So we can say that four isomers are possible for 2,3-dibromobutane but these only gives one and two predominantly fixed, trans only give meso. Thus we can say that both reactions, bromination of cis 2 butene and bromination of trans 2 butene they are example of stereoselective reaction. Let us now read the definition of stereospecific reaction. A reaction, first let us read the definition and then we will the, try to understand it. A reaction in which stereochemically different molecules react differently to give different isomers as products or if they produced even same isomer but with the different rate of reactions, that reaction is called stereospecific reaction. Now again, let us try to understand this definition with the same example. See, cis-2-butene and trans-2-butene, they are isomers of the 2-butene. So they are stereochemical different molecule, that's why they are isomer. They react with the same reagent, bromine. So these are the two stereochemically different isomers react with the same reagent and in this case they produce different product. cis 2 butene produced enantiomers 1 and 2. trans 2 butene produced meso compound 3 and 4. So as per the definition which states that when the stereochemically different molecules react differently and give the different products. And in some cases, as it is written in the definition, sometimes you are getting the same product, but its chemical kinetic is a different, the rate of reaction is a different, then such reaction is called stereospecific reaction. So again, the bromination reaction of cis 2 butene and trans 2 butene is also example of stereospecific reaction. So we can say that collectively bromination of cis 2 butene and bromination of trans 2 butene, these reactions are collectively examples of stereoselective as well stereospecific reaction. And one very important point one should remember is all stereospecific reactions, they are stereoselective. But reverse statement is not true. It means that all stereoselective reactions are not necessarily stereospecific. So I hope that you understand this concept of the stereoselective and stereospecific reactions.